Now, after when France, France became a monarchy, Louis XVI was sentenced to death by the court on the charge of treason. Now, treason means a betrayal of their own country, as already he has done that. On 21st January 1793, he was executed publicly. Publicly, he was executed. Here, execution means killing. Over here, we can say um, hang till death. I don't know what kind of punishment, but it was publicly he was executed at the place d'Alle Concorde. It's a, a French word. The Queen Mary and Antoinette met with him the same fate short after. It means uh, the Queen also uh, the results into the same fate. The reign of terror. Now this is very important. The reign of terror. Reign means time. Terror means terror. You know that it's a scare. Fear. People remain in fear. The period of 1793 and 1794, that's so one year. They referred to be the reign of terror. Robespierre followed the policy of several controls. Now, Robespierre, the head of Jacobin's club, was the head of the France. Now, he had a several control and um, uh, control and punishment. All those who saw as being enemies of Republic, those who were against, means we have the opposition view. So, we are not against the country. People who are speaking... Critics are not the enemies. They are they are giving their own point of view. So he was very strict. Those who were uh, speaking against the republic, he was very um, very strict and giving harsh punishment. So ex noble clergy member of the other political and even the member of his own party did not agree with this method. He was very strict. So his member was not even agree with him. Were arrested, imprisoned, and then tried revolutionary tribunal. If the court found guilty. They were guillotinite. Guillotinite is a kind of killing uh, tool where a blade is there on the above side and the person is put on the rack and when the blade it is uh, it kill the person by beheading him physically and the person get ties. So that's called guillotinite. Guillotinite is a device consisting two poles and a blade which one person is beheaded. It was named as af uh, after Dr. Guillotinite who invented it means the it is a kind of tool to kill the people and it was invented by dr guillotinine so the name was of that tool is guillotinine mm -hmm. robespierre government issued a law of placing maximum ceiling on the wages price meat bread were rationed peasants were forced to to transport their grains to the cities and sell it to the price fixed by the government so it was kind of too much control the use of more expensive wheat flour was forbidden all citizens were required to eat it uh, equal bread the loaf made up of whole white whole wheat equality was also sought to practice through form of speech and address instead of traditional uh, sir and madam all french men were henceforth citoyen and citoyen means it is a french terminology citoyen means um, citizen Churches were shut down and their buildings were converted into barracks and offices. Robespierre pursued his policy so relentlessly that even his supporter began to demand some moderation. To be, please become some moderate, not too much strictly. Finally, he was convicted. Now, Robespierre was himself convict, convicted by the court in July 1794 and arrested. And next day, he was guillotine. Means <laughs> he himself was guillotine. Now, a directory rules in France. The fall of Jacobin government allowed the wealthier middle class to seize power. Seize means to take power. A new constitution was introduced which denied the vote non property section of society. It provided two elected legislative councils. This then appointed directory and executives made up of five members. This was meant as a safeguard against the concentration of power in a one-man execution under Jacobin. However, directions often clashed with the legislative council, who then sought to dismiss them. The political instability of a dictator paved the way of rise of military dictator, Napoleon Bonaparte. Through all these changes in the form of government, the idea of freedom of equality before the law and fraternity remained inspiring, idle and that motivated political movement in France and the rest of the Europe during the following century.